Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 10 of this luxury apartment. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add curtain wall. And then we added the second floor. And then we added the second floor on this part because the one that we created in the first floor is a gym. So now we're going to continue working on this, but before we do anything else, I'm just going to pull this back. It's because once we uh, copy whatever's on the second floor, I don't want this one to be copied as well because uh, it will provide or it will create an error. So for now, we're not going to pull it up too much. We're just going to add. The balcony on all floors and also I'm just gonna add the windows right here so I'm gonna I'm going to select them individually and holding on control button copy the clipboard and then paste to selected level which is level one it will be selected there and then we just need to go to modify and then cut geometry multiple is checked select the wall and then the curtain wall and then here we have one more And then you remember this is basically the gym so we cannot do anything from here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my level 1 and then from here or level 2 instead and then from here I'm gonna create another floor so this will be floor number 2 so click on floor edit type duplicate this will be floor number two edit and then here we're going to change this to another type of concrete so lightweight is good enough and then after this we're going to add our balcony so I'm going to add the floor by using line and then by just creating the lines from my grid line. So here, this is the F, H, and then number one and two. So just highlighting everything else like that. And then we're going to add another one. So I'm going to use a rectangle. I'm going to add from the grid line. So it's easy to see. And then here I'm going from the outside wall to the outside wall as well. And to the grid line if you want to align it you can just to be sure that everything is uniform and then here as well this one from this point up to this point So I'm just creating, so here it's similar, let's use line instead, and then just covering up to our grid lines. And 
and then here a rectangle would be good sorry it should be not here but here instead let's align it and then here again another rectangle and then let's add here and then here let's just put it right there and then one more right here okay so now that we added that i'm just gonna click on finish and look at it at 3d so it will look like that so from there we need to pull down the curtain wall all the way to the floor Okay, so here you could just pull down right there. Here we could just pull down all the way right here, but we could move this one. So let's go to level two and then just push this back right there EL align this then let's go back here and do this as well so that it's uniform and then here we could do the same thing we could go to level two first pull this one back and then go to level one pull this one back and then go to 3d again to pull it down If you cannot find it, you can use your tab key to highlight the curtain wall. So now that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and then align to selected level. So now we have the same one below. But at the same time, we have a gym here, so we don't need to worry about. Pulling that down. This one we need to as well here and then here. From this one, I could align this. And then pull this one down and everything else.
so that's good and then go to level 2 let's add in the railing so for the railing I'm gonna click railing I'm gonna use the glass panel bottom fill okay so once you click that you need to edit type duplicate you want you can change a different name here but I'm just gonna put number two and just press OK baluster placement I'm gonna delete this and leave it like that press OK click this one or click the one at the top delete this apply and then OK and then OK let's see the lock click finish and then 3d I just want to show the lock so we have this one so I'm gonna undo what we did and then let's add Let's try it again. So railing, bottom fill, click finish. So it looks like this. I want to remove the one, the two at the top. So edit type, duplicate. This will be number two. Edit the one at the top, delete this, and then delete again. Once you play, press OK and then OK again, this will be del get deleted. And then I just want a rectangle at the top. Edit. And then here, top railing. I don't want elliptical. I want a different profile, which is rectangular. The materials, let's change this to anything metal. So let's use this aluminum. And then I'm just going to copy this. Apply. OK. And then let's check here. And I want to make sure. the baluster apply okay so the placement baluster offset I think we're good so now we could use this so again let's go to level 2 and then just click re railing I'm going to click this pick line and I just want to offset this around maybe 50 is good so let's see I want it from the inside so again 50 I want it from the inside like that so that's perfect Okay, just add it on all of them. And then later on, we're going to add something to, for a design. okay so now click finish so
So the problem is this is we need to add them one at a time. So sorry about that. We need this one one at a time. So it's going to be time consuming, but we need to do it. But before this, actually, what we could do is we could also add the safe, the, the post. So instead here, let's go to level one. And adding the post, I'm going to use model in place and then generic model. This will be number one. And I'm going to do an extrusion and then click on rectangle. The reason that I'm using extrusion is so that we can basically manipulate it. So it's easier to manipulate instead of using a different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 400 by 400. And then I'm going to place it on probably in the midpoint. MV, get it from the midpoint right here. So remove the constraint. And then move it again. And then get it from the midpoint there. So now it's in the center. So now let's copy, make sure multiple is checked, and then let's add it onto all the corners right there. So we, we need to remove that. And just remove this. Make sure to add in a stone finish. Let's use this apply OK and then let's finish so this one we can just pull it up and all of them will be pulled up and then from here we need to add in all of this so what we're gonna do is we're going to, so here, this needs to be changed to bottom fill two, something like that. But now, we just need to go to level one so that we don't have any collision with that. So in this sense, it's going to be more work because not all of them will be, so let's do this. So it needs to be going back like that. And then once we do this, 
it's not gonna let us do it because it is um, not connected so that's the only um, issue while doing this but we need to do it because it will make our model a lot better so I'm just gonna click that and then I'm just gonna show you and then once I'm finished you guys can skip so here I'm gonna pull this back and then click finish again CS 50 maybe we could lock it and then just pull it back the reason that I we could basically move it all the way there but I, I don't want the when we go to twin motion there's a lot of flashing going on it's because we have that and then the lock is actually not doing anything when uh when a model is overlapping each other it will create that flashing sequence so it's better to just do it properly So the look will look like this and then after that you can just select all of them select visible in view and then you could use copy command so copy to clipboard and then paste to a line selected level so we could just do that and then here we could extend this And then what will happen is we're going to add some designs on the post so you just need to do all of them especially in the bottom and then just copy it from the top and then after that we're good so I'm just gonna undo this and then I'm gonna say goodbye for now and then once I once we do the the next video everything will be lined up so thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below